So I'm turning 40 in a month and I am both relieved and completely surprised. Surprised in the fact that it happened so fast. I don't know how I got here. I literally just turned 30 last week and I'm also a child trapped in an adult body. I am way too young to be doing adult things. That's for sure. Also, I feel like I'm still catching up on, on like life lessons that maybe I should have learned at a younger age. Like I'm still figuring that stuff out on my own slowly, but surely. And I'm also relieved because I feel like I finally have permission to let myself off the hook a little and not be so fucking hard on myself because I'm 40. I'm going to be using that excuse for a long time. I don't think it really means much. I don't think that as soon as I turn 40 that everything's going to change. It's kind of like a New Year's thing where it's like, it's just a day. It's just a, a moment in time, but it is a, it is a milestone birthday. So I think it's worth talking about. I wanted to do one of those like cheeky little lists where it's like, here's a list of five things I'm leaving behind in my thirties. And here's what I'm taking with me into my forties. And I was trying to compile that list yesterday. And I realized that like, I really don't have anything. And mostly it's because I'm, I'm sort of constantly doing a self inventory of things that are and aren't working for me. It's just how my, my little neuro spicy brain works. I am constantly ruminating on my habits and patterns and mistakes and meticulously trying to fix things because trauma Because I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck is wrong with me. And I know it's nothing. Don't yell at me in the comments. I know, but it's all a process. I got to process it in my own time. But one of the things I've been sort of like thinking about a lot is the fact that I have now spent an equal amount of time as an adult, as I was a child growing into an adult, for example, zero to 20, was me be going from baby to adult and 20 to 40 was me being a full fledged adult. And I think 40 is this really interesting age where we're legitimately at this midpoint in our lives, give or take a few years. But now I can really like look back and be like, wow, I actually have a lot of wisdom and knowledge from just living in the world as an adult, just trying to survive like everyone else. I feel like I've cycled through a lot of habits and patterns and programs enough times now as an adult, like as a direct result of the things I experienced in my childhood and seeing how that played out in my adult life. And now having this space to zoom out and be like, Oh, I can see why I've, why I've been doing all these things. And I can see, these consistent patterns showing up over and over and over again. And I can genuinely say that there are some cycles now that in hindsight of 20 years of being an adult in this world that I'm like, Oh yeah, I don't want to do that anymore. I'm done with that. And one of the biggest ones is, is the lack of balance I have between my career and my life. And I've been talking about this a lot. I've been talking a lot about burnout and how I reached complete meltdown, shutdown, burnout zone. This thing that I do with my body and these skills and how I've made it a career has been on my mind 24 seven, especially for the last 20 years, as I have been working professionally in the entertainment industry and the film industry for 20 years now, it has been the only thing that I have thought about truly. I've learned a lot. I've, I've changed perspectives and priorities a lot in that time. But having had that experience of that complete burnout, I, I have allowed myself to zoom out and be like, yeah, well, no wonder you did that. Your whole focus has been this. And one of the things that that burnout taught me was how much I really took to heart the guidance and the messaging of that hustle and grind productivity culture that sort of our entire society sort of throws on us. If you work hard and you put your head down and you just get to work and you're going to do all these things and you're hustling and you're grinding, if you're not getting better 10% every day, not good enough, not good enough, not good enough, that eventually you're going to reach success. And like, yeah, I've done cool things. Don't get me wrong. And, and I have had some success in my career. Is that really success if it was at the expense of my health and well being? I don't think so. You may feel differently. That sort of messaging and, and workflow may work for you. I did it for decades and I realized 
it doesn't work for me. It never worked for me. I just had more energy for it when I was younger. But then as I have been processing the last few years, I was like, it never was working for me. It was just sort of fueling my own need for external validation and legitimacy and me searching for things outside of myself. It just sort of fueled that. And because I've been so laser focused on my career, what it ended up being was me feeling the need to keep pushing, keep pushing, keep going, work harder, not good enough, not good enough, not good enough until the point where I broke. So I don't want to repeat that. I don't want to do that again. And so as I've been sort of healing this burnout and going back and taking inventory of a lot of things, I'll be like, where did I go wrong? And it really comes down to, and this sounds so fucking cheesy, I know, I know. Um, it really comes down to self-worth, self-love, self-compassion, feeling worthy and deserving of just existing in the world without having to achieve anything. That's it. That's the answer. And it's so much easier said than done. I'm completely reprogramming the way that I have been operating for the last 40 years and coming up with a new operating system and downloading new ways of doing things. And it's all new and I feel really uncomfortable all the time, but I know it's what's necessary for me to move forward in a sustainable, healthier, and more enjoyable way because what I really want in my life. And this is, this is the 40 year old in me speaking is like, yeah, I want these like cool career things, but that's all my ego. What I really, really want in my life is to just be happy. It's just to feel peaceful. I think if you would have asked me at 30, like, what do you want? I would have given you a list of like e ego based things that I want. I want to work on this show and I want to work in this movie and I want to do this and this and this. I'm not saying that I don't want those like big shiny career things, but I'm realizing now that they don't mean as much to me as maybe they used to, because I can recognize them as that's just my ego wanting a little bit of a like, Ooh, I feel good. I feel seen and heard and, and validated. But what I really truly want, for these next, let's say 20 years of my life, the next sort of chunk of my life is I just, I just want to feel at peace with myself. I want to feel at peace in my heart. And that's something I've never experienced ever. And so I'm finding that I have to completely reprogram and download, oh, download. I'm finding that I have to completely reprogram and download a new operating system. And that takes time. That is not just going to happen overnight. I'm going to turn 40 and I'm like, I am a new person. Look at me shine. No, 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 no. It's, it's reprogramming my nervous system to operate in a new way. Maybe like for once in my life, come down out of fight or flight and maybe in this like nice little rest and digest zone, like what's that like? And so it's this like daily practice of things that I'm doing just so that eventually I'll just feel a little bit better and a little bit better and a little bit better, a little bit more present and a little bit more calm and a little bit more at peace and a little bit less like I'm in a rush and I'm always in trouble and I don't know what's going on and the world's going to explode. That's what I'm doing in my forties. It all goes by like this. It happens so fast because I don't know how I got here. It's going to be a step-by-step -step process. And, and now like if, if, peace and fulfillment and satisfaction is the name of the game. Like I don't need my career to bear the weight of, of offering that to me. I can find that in other places. And what it means is yes, I still work hard. Yes. I'm still determined. Yes. I'm still creating career wise, but to just like, let it be what it's going to be and shift my focus into cultivating the other sides of my life. And that is so much more complex and nuanced than just like going out and meeting new people and just playing more because I never learned how to do that. I am completely learning how to play and, and focus on things outside of my job for the first time at age 40. And this is why I feel like a child is because there's these things that I haven't quite learned yet because I've been so focused on doing the job.
I know I'm not the only person experiencing this sort of like, oh, my job can't just be my whole thing, can't be my whole identity. Uh, I think it's just a product of this late stage capitalism that we're in and people my age being like, wait, I followed the rules. Why am I miserable? I'm one of those people. I follow the rules. I tried my best to, to follow the, the steps that were laid out in front of me or the steps that I sort of figured out and put them in a, an order that made sense. But it really, it just led me to a place where I reached a complete breakdown. So now I have to go back, take inventory and find a new plan and make up a new plan based on the wisdom and the experience and the knowledge that I've gained living for 40 years. And I get to do it my way. I don't need to follow anybody's example. I, I get to find a new way forward into that peace and freedom I'm seeking in my own way. I'm not, I'm not looking for the external validation. I'm just looking for that feeling of like, yes, this is a hell yes, I'm going. And, and trusting that my instincts and my body will tell me when something is right for me and something is not right for me. And then moving with that rather than trying to hold on and try to control everything like I have been. Can't receive anything if you're just trying, holding on so tightly for dear life. And so now it's about like releasing that control. Thing that I realize, and this is completely because I hit this, this darkness where it's like, if I keep doing the things that I'm doing, I'm not gonna make it. So I have to shift the things that I'm doing and I have to shift the way that I'm perceiving and operating in the world. And this is it. This is the moment where it's like, okay, you've finished the race. You've been sprinting to get to this point. Now you get to stop and slow down and do it for you because I'm not doing it for anybody else anymore. And, and if things fall away from me in the next couple of years because of that, because they were meant to, and, and I'm very much at peace with that. So in conclusion, I am excited to move into a new decade. I am excited to find a new way of being that it just feels so much better than this invisible, impossible race that I've been running for the last 40 years. I'm done. I'm done racing. I'm moving at my own pace now and I've earned that. I've earned that space to be like, nah, I know what I'm doing. I know what works for me. This is how I'm playing the game now. And I am so fucking excited for that. <laughs> He's so fucking cute. A lot of fluff.